Thank you. There is no one on this committee that thinks whipping people is a laughing matter. I was laughing about something completely unrelated. And it is extremely um, poor uh, behavior of people on this committee to continue to attack my character for political points. Marjorie Taylor Greene made an embarrassing spectacle of herself this week, even causing her own colleagues to call her out on the record. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. At a hearing on the impact of COVID-19 school closures, Marjorie Taylor Greene took it upon herself to use the time to settle social media beef with a witness. Seriously, here is a congresswoman from Georgia going in at Randy Weingarten, the president of the American Federation of Teachers. Well, I'd like to remind you of one of your tweets here where you agreed that my suspension on Twitter, uh, in your own words, politicians shouldn't be exempt from standards about spreading misinformation. Green has repeatedly shown reckless disregard for those standards. This suspension is justified. This is your tweet. Uh, just last year, January 2nd, 2022, I was uh, suspended for my statements about COVID-19 as a member of Congress, by the way. Um, and also, I'd like to point out by by the emojis, by your name here, it looks like you're more of a political activist than anything. Uh, clearly, unfortunately, you think Ukraine comes before the United States. I'm not sure what the black flex is. I mean, it's, is that digital blackface? Um, but congratulations on graduating from school. Uh, but I'd like to know. No, go it is about honoring black. Mr. Weingarten, I reclaim my time. I didn't ask you a question. Of course, because that was not pathetic enough for Green. Well, the representative just had to go a little bit lower and get the admonishment of her colleagues. Ms. Weingarten, are you a medical doctor? I am not. Are you a mother? I am a mother by marriage. By marriage, I see. Um, and and you my wife is here with me, so I'm really glad that she's here. Rabbi Our, Sharon Klein. Ms. Weingarten, as not a medical doctor, not a biological mother, um, and, and really not a teacher either. So what you did is you advised the CDC. Mr. Um, Mr. Chairman, that is, that, I mean, that's a, a Excuse me, character. this is my time. Uh, you, People. like you, need to admit that you're just a political activist, not General a teacher, not a mother, and not a medical doctor. General Lady's time is expired. I, yeah. Yeah. And now... I now recognize Mr. Jordan from Ohio for five minutes. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. I, I just want to make, just make note that um, the, the decorum of the attacks on the witness were unacceptable that the general lady from Georgia just did. And so it would be nice if we didn't attack the witnesses, um, particularly whether or whether, and making a decision about whether or not she's a mother. You are a mother. Thank you for, for, for being a great parent. Thank you. Thank you. Your point of order is recognized, Mr. Garcia. A point uh, of order. Recognize, Mr. Point of order. Yes, uh, given that his point of order is recognized, and given that that was not just cruel personal attacks to Ms. Weingarten, who loves her children, it is reflective of the pr cruel personal attacks to any adopted mother or father who loved their children. So I, I would kindly ask that those remarks be taken out of the record for the sake of all of the parents who have adopted a child and love them dearly and see them as their own. It was not a violation of the House rules. However, your point of order is recognized. I now I'm just grateful that there was someone in that room with some common sense, namely Maxwell Frost. The gentleman from Florida politely slammed the GOP-led hearing for all of the nonsense. And this is rich. It's, it's ironic, um, and it has no one fooled. This is to distract from the real sp special interest group that is the real threat to children all across this country, the NRA. And look, I recognize that the pandemic has had real impacts on American children, but make no mistake, for a brief time in this country, children didn't have to memorize emergency exits. Children didn't have to practice active shooter drills more than they're doing fire drills. Children didn't have to walk around with a Kevlar backpack or figure out what they have to do if a shooter were to come into their classroom. Students are begging for Congress to have the courage to act on gun violence. If you care about students, if you care about schools, Fight for a world where students are not dying in a pool of their own blood in the, call, in the classrooms. You let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching.